Hi there, I've got an extremely useful tip for you today and that is how to navigate forward and backwards through your code. Now, if you're looking at file and then you go off and look at another file, maybe this one, maybe then you go and look at what's going on in that method, uh, and then maybe we we'll go and look at what's going on in that method. Um, now you can easily get back to where you've been in time, like jumping in a time machine uh, by doing control minus. That will go to where you were immediately before where you are now. And then if you hit minus again, you'll continue going back in time as to where you were. And then if you do control shift minus, that will take you back the other way, so forward in time. I'll also mention that you can uh, click um, these little buttons up here to navigate backwards and forwards. And you can also click this little drop down here and that will get you a list of all places you've been recently. Very, very useful. So there you go, that's navigate forward and backwards. Oh, I almost forgot. If you don't have a mouse that has these buttons on the side that do navigate and forward, forwards and backwards in your browser, get one because you can also press these and it will also navigate uh, you backwards and forwards in code. Very, very useful. So there you go, that's navigate forwards and backwards and that's control minus and control shift minus or the little buttons in your browser or the buttons on your mouse. Very, very useful stuff. So there you go. Follow me on my YouTube channel for more chip tips on Visual Studio uh, or me on Twitter, I'm on there as well. Thank you very much, bye.